Okay, so it has been a while since I have made a video and I was starting with this big boom and then it all stopped. I got sick, lots of other bits, life got in the way, whatever. So I'm getting back to it now and I have nowhere to sit and be filmed actually or film because we are moving or moving soon. So everything is completely all over the place. So I need to look into that to do this slightly better. But currently in my son's room, with shoes and I mean there's just stuff absolutely everywhere because like I said we're going to be moving hopefully this year so we're starting to put things into boxes empty the rooms out and just really focus on moving so I'll be taking you along with us on that journey but I thought I would just do this quick intro because we're going to go to Costco we need to stock up we haven't been in a couple of months and we need to go get the loo roll toilet roll loo roll who calls it I call it loo roll it's really bad I need to get some loo roll and what else do we need to get? Some big bottles of the water and just stock up on food, some cup of bits. So we're gonna take you along with us while we do that. We're doing that this weekend. I'm also then gonna be doing a lot of planning with my trusty Bible as such, where I write all my notes down because again, with moving and changing house, I also want to change career. I have absolutely no idea what to do, which is quite annoying. And yeah, I just don't know. I'm, I think I'm 37 now, so I think I'm in one of those kind of lost moments where you just don't know what to do. I don't even know what I am anymore. I know I like people, I think, <laughs> most of the time. I like being creative and doing different things like that, and I do get bored, so I have to do little bits of everything. I'm loving my business that I've started, which I'll talk about in another video, and that's called The Sussex Mum. And, you know, I just love doing different things, but I just want to get away from doing the nine to five. I just being in an office all the time, going there, coming back, going there, come back. It's the same every day. It's just, it's not me. And I think I'm getting to the point now where enough's enough, but still you have to have money coming through the door. So any ideas on that, let me know what to do. But yeah, I thought I would just get back into doing the videos. Like I said, you're gonna have to bear with me because we are packing up and it is just really hard for me to find anywhere to sit in this house that's quiet. Plus it's summer holidays, school holidays. So I've got boys downstairs and it is just loud. So again, me trying to find any quiet space to film, which is one of the criteria for when we do find the house that we're gonna to move to by next is I need an office. I need somewhere that I can go out and just sit. I don't care if it's a cabin in the garden, as long as it's quiet and it's got a blanket, I'll be absolutely fine. I can go and do my filming, get my work done, my emails, but I just cannot function like this where I'm literally sitting on a bed or hopping from bedroom to bedroom to try and get some peace and quiet. So. We've got to work on that. But yeah, come along with me and let's go to Costco. Okay, so we just got here. That was a drive and a half. It was a long drive. We've had to bring both cars. So this car looks empty. Hello, Reese. But actually, Terry, my husband's over there with Jaden. And because both boys wanted to come, so we need to bring both cars with us, which is fine. And I've lost them now in the car park. So I hate driving to Costco. Hate it. So we've done it though. So I'm just going to get our stuff and go in. Oh. Yeah. No line. I know. Let's go in. Luxury. <laughs> Seriously, you guys would be asleep all the time. Look at it. It's like having a bed. <laughs> Bye, I'm going, bye. Haven't even left the building and we've already opened the food. Fun. Okay, we are back and oh my gosh, it then started chucking it down, the car park as you would have just seen, and people waiting to get the spaces, it was just going absolutely insane. But I'm just gonna run you through what we got and some extra purchases which I wasn't planning on getting, but that happens every time we go to Costco, you always seem to get more than you realized. So let me go through really quickly before everything defrosts and melts. Seatbelts everyone! 
we've got one of the Costco rotisserie chickens and some Perry Perry wins for dinner tonight. We've then got Jaden's favourite Chris, his pot chips, which are really nice, a big bag of tortilla chips, some shreddies for breakfast, some sun bites for some snacks. We've got some ham, which is a two pack, and then we've got some meat. I get a lot of our meat from the butchers, but sometimes I just stock up the freezer. Just being honest, I don't, I can't afford everything at the butchers all the time. So sometimes I go to Costco and we do a big stock up and I will section this all up and I'll put it into individual packets. So we've got their burgers, their sweet chili chicken thighs, six packs of bacon. We have some pork shoulder. It's also gone really dark. We live in a really small kind of cottage style house. So it's gone really, trying not to get the shadow on the camera, really dark with the rain. Here comes the rain. We've got some chicken wings and some chicken drumsticks. We're gonna marinate those. We've got some flaming chicken tenders for Jaden. He wanted the hot ones this time. I'm really hoping he's gonna like those and not be too hot. Got some rye sourdough that I'm gonna slice up and then freeze. We've got some more butter, some hot dogs, a big thing of salami under there. Some of Jaden's Nutellas. He loves these for snacks. Can't have them at school though because of the nuts. We've got some wraps. Two big things of olives. These were a new one that I've wanted to try. So these crispy coconut rolls, they're gluten and dough free. So I thought we'd give those a go. Some other breakfast or kind of snack options for Nature Valley. We have some breaded fish goujon, some sole. One thing of chips. My favorite cheeses, because I can't have cow's milk dairy, but I can have gluten. Gluten, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I am tired. But I can have goats or sheep's milk so i've got these cheeses that i can have with me this was a new find actually these crunchy rice bars gluten and dairy free so i thought we'd give those a go they look quite nice you get 24 bars in a pack and they looked good almond milk we've got some kinder buenos surprisingly not for the children for the husband a big thing of garlic so i want to do some roasted garlic some more marmite this house is really good they do do their own kirkland's double pack but i i prefer this one when they have it Almond butter. My God, it's so dark, isn't it? God, sorry, really dark. My husband's really got into this now with our wings, red hot wings, buffalo sauce. So I've got that for marinades, some hot dog buns, the chocolate chips, which are so heavy, but I use them for a lot of baking, making kind of like porridge bakes and things like that. Two big things of chili sauce. We've got a big pastry selection. We don't really buy this much, but I heard that you can actually freeze them, especially like the croissants. You can freeze them and then pull one out and put it in the oven and it it will kind of refresh. So I thought I'd give that a go. Reese, our has got these pastries, delicious for himself. He loves those. And then we've got the bigger ones. Reese also went on a pastry theme and got him some of these. These Parmier biscuits she loves and macaroons because Jaden absolutely loves macaroons. Two big packages of toilet roll, one for us, one for my parents' house. Crisps, potatoes. And then we love the Costco water. It's handy to take out. So we've got four packets of Costco water and Terry's got one tray of Coke. And then we've got this new air fryer. Wanted to get an air fryer and this was on a really good deal today. So it costs us just under 80 pounds with VAT included. A double one. So we're gonna be using that for dinner and we'll see how that goes. So you'll also notice there is pretty much zero fruit and veg because I am completely stocked already. So like I said, we go once a month to Costco and just stock up on everything that we might need. All kind of these big things, the toilet roll that will last us months now, the water lasts ages, the crisps, etc. But fruit, vegetables, I buy as we need them. So I keep some money reserved for my budget for that. And just anything can top up wise that we might need, but I already have some things, so this is just filling the gaps, apart from the Danishes, which I really think we might've gone a bit crazy, but that's fine. And obviously the air fryer, we don't normally buy big packages like that, but we wanted to give it a go. We've looked for one for ages and actually it was a really good deal. So glad we got that. We're going to try it for dinner. But yes, so I'm going to get this all away. Obviously a mess in the house. Like I said, the house in my last video, I think I said we're going to be moving and it's holes everywhere. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. So fun times ahead. But yeah, I'm going to have all this put away. Hopefully get the boys in to help me and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Just thought I'd really quickly as well show you how I package up the meat. So we wrap it individually or maybe in portions for two in some cling film and then just pop it into one of these bags, into these baggies all labelled up, sweet tea chicken and then it goes straight into the freezer and I can then just pull, pull the portions out. So that's how I kind of decant. I mean, I'm sure it was quite self-explanatory to be honest, but I thought I would just show you the fun that I'm now going through. <laughs>
Mm-mm-mm.